It's honestly not very impressive, but it's what I've got now. But it'll get a lot better. <laughs> So this is Matt on Books, I'm Matt, and I talk about fantasy mostly, science fiction sometimes, and comics occasionally. It's kind of a booktube tradition to do a bookshelf tour, and I'm kind of in between and torn. I just started my channel recently, and I definitely want to start with doing a bookshelf tour, but I have a particular situation. I have moved all my life, as I mentioned in my first video, I've moved a lot. And my habit has been to assume that I'm going to be moving. So I've never really collected books. I have a well-loved Kindle that I've... Oh, needs to be charged. Haven't been using it lately. I, I used to carry this with me everywhere, and I just didn't buy paper books. I have... 500, 600 books that I've bought for Kindle and read over the last, I don't know how many years. But when, you, when you're expecting that you're going to be moving, you don't want to have more things that you have to put in boxes. So I've just never really been buying paper books. In January of this year, I moved into a flat that I really like here in Berlin. And I plan to stay for a while. It's a pretty rough flat. It was rented to me in uh, needing renovation condition. And I've been doing a lot of work on it, or I'm lazy, so I've been paying other people to do a lot of work on it. So my current bookshelf is only this one behind me, which I'll give you a look at in a minute. It's not nearly enough. I have my, my current book collection is not that big, but it doesn't fit in this shelf. And I used to have two of these in my last flat. And shortly before I moved, one of them just collapsed out of nowhere. I didn't do anything. I went out shopping, came home, and the book bookshelf and the books were all over the floor. So what I'm planning on doing is replacing this with a much more interesting bookshelf. Stay tuned for that. Right now, let's go to have a closer look at the bookshelf behind me. And if we start down the bottom, we have a bunch of board games, which is not what we're here for. We go one shelf up. From left to right, it's mythology with some of the classics. Bullfinch's Iliad, Odyssey, and then some modern interpretations. Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Some mythology interpretations by Stephen Fry. Some Norse mythology, including Neil Gaiman's version. And then we get into some Arthur. I'm a big Arthur nerd. So I've got the Mort Arthur and a modern interpretation of it and a Arthurian companion. Then some history, mostly medieval stuff. Goes into role-playing games that I play. There's a really nice series called Life in a Medieval Something. So Life in a Medieval Village, Life in a Medieval Castle so on. I think I've got all of them. Then a little Roman history. Then a few novels. Gutter Prayer, which I read recently. The first trilogy of The Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb. And then some of Pratchett's Discworld, which I'll be getting to soon. One more shelf up. That is the Malazan shelf. From left to right, it's about half of the shelf bit more than half of the shelf is the first 10 books, the Malazan Book of the Fallen. And then the rest of it is Malazan as well, but it's Stephen Erickson and Ian C. Esselmont books, which are extra books in the series. Go up one more. That's Stephen King on the left, Salem's Lot, Stand, the Dark Tower Companion, and the full Dark Tower series. And this is my replica Colt Dragoon, 1860 Dragoon. Uh, I was inspired after reading The Dark Tower to try and get a gun that looks like Roland's. This one is a replica. It does not shoot. It can't be loaded. If you're a gun purist, a gun nerd, do not at me. I'm aware this is a front loader. 
This looked to me like the big heavy gun that Roland Deschain would have. And then uh, some Thomas Covenant, a modern edition. And Dune behind my Thinker statue, which is obviously from my intro. And then some classics, Jack Vance, uh, Mervyn Peak, Pike, Peak, uh, the beginning of the Gormenghast series, the Elric of Manibane, first hardback of the new version, and in the corner, <coughs> Chronicles of Amber by Zelazny, which I love. Up there is some role-playing stuff, bunches of role-playing books, and then right up the top is a I don't know what to do with everything kind of shelf, where I've got some junk, but also two editions of Lord of the Rings, and then some role-playing stuff, and some comics, and some heraldry books, because I'm also a bit of a heraldry nerd, and then some art books. Simon Stelenhag, probably pronounced Simon Stelenhag, is uh, amazing. And then right up the top, my Mandalorian helmet, an award I won at work for designing good stuff, and then some more book uh, board games that don't really fit anywhere else. Oh, and over in the corner, my sword, which I actually forged myself, but that's a different story. The book collection that I do have doesn't fit in the only shelf I have, which is the one behind me. It's uh, spread around my flat at the moment, waiting to be unpacked. So it's a stack of boxes in my office, and it's a stack of boxes in the hallway on the way to the kitchen. This is obviously not an optimal situation, but... I have contracted a carpenter to build me a motherfucker bookshelf. Uh, this is what it'll look like. This is a rough 3D rendering that the carpenter did. It's going to be white all over with maple strips on the front. And it's going to be almost as tall as my ceiling, which is three and a quarter meters because a lot of the older places in Berlin, they have these really, really high ceilings and huge windows and that kind of thing. So it's gonna be about three meters tall. So more than double the amount of space that this shelf has in it. This shelf will go away around the corner and it will be used for completely other things. And this shelf will be a beautiful new background for my videos. So I hope you enjoyed the bookshelf tour. I hope you're as excited as I am about my future shelf. I know that's not possible. I'm pretty damn excited. But I look forward to showing it to you in the future. Let me know down in the comments, what's your bookshelf situation like? And as always, like and subscribe. It really helps my new channel. And uh, keep reading awesome books. See you next time.